<laughs> Interview with Brian Feeney, lead designer, League of Legends. Wild Rift. Is there something concrete like a specific number of characters or certain characteristics? Brian Feeney, yeah, there are a lot of things we want to do, and I think one of the best things about League of Legends on both PC and Wild Rift is that we really want this to be a 10-year-old game, so in a sense when we talk about the change from beta to version 1.0 we wonder if it really matters that much. Our goal remains to deliver update after update with content, features, new things that players really care about. From our point of view, we don't have anything too strict like 55 champions released, and then we'll get out of beta. It is not like this. It's more about whether we are confident, happy with the overall level of service and stability, than whether we have released the game in all regions. Things like that that can be the basis of the overall structure that is really solidly established, so that once we get out of beta, we can dive headfirst into things like content, patches, value, and all that. So now we are focusing on solving some technical aspects and all the things that happen when you launch a video game. How many do you plan to release during the beta? Brian Feeney, this is a trick question because there could be a very specific answer. I don't have the roadmap in my head and we haven't fully announced this. But I think you can expect a release of champions at very regular intervals. It's not going to be as fast as a champion per week because it would be crazy. It's not going to be the cadence of a champion every few months either. We are a bit in the middle there. Do you plan to just add League of Legends champions to PC, or are you open to introducing exclusive champions? Brian Feeney, we're very open to releasing new exclusive Wild Rift champions. It is something that has always been on the table. We particularly know that there are other Riot games that do right now. There's a lot to the world of Runeterra, it's not just the champions you see on PC. There are different places, stories to tell, there are many characters almost anywhere that the League of Legends universe could expand with. We know we have room to close out whatever is in League of Legends for PC. So we are definitely open to making Wild Rift champions that don't exist on PC. The little trick here is that we know we don't have enough League of Legends champions right now, so our first priority is to make sure we offer a lot of champions that we think are missing. In particular those that cover certain styles of play. For example, we are looking to add character bans sometime soon, but we don't have enough characters, and you could ban an entire role. So we want to make sure we have enough champions on our roster that players already know and love before we try to expand into our territory. Our main goal is to keep getting characters that are in League of Legends for PC. Do your plans go to launch these characters simultaneously in Wild Rift and League of Legends for PC? Brian Feeney, I think this is a case-by-case -case issue. We are certainly open to casting characters simultaneously. In fact, it was something that was seen this year with Seraphine, who arrived simultaneously to Wild Rift and League of Legends. But there are other characters that have been launched with which it has not been done. If League of Legends for PC is developing a new champion, and we want to adapt it as well, it needs to be sufficiently advanced so that we have time to adjust and implement that champion, and that is something that complicates the roadmaps a lot. Wild Rift features to the PC version of League of Legends. Is this a possibility? Brian Feeney, it is certainly possible. Obviously now we are working from our homes, but before we were literally in the same place. I could throw a ball of paper at a League of Legends developer from my desk. We work very closely with each other and talk to League of Legends designers every week. Sometimes it is something more than every week, it depends a bit on the projects we work on and what we collaborate with. We have a very clear idea of what the rest are working on, and there are things created for the PC version that we have adopted, because we have a lot of visibility of what they are doing, and of some playable changes. An example is pre-season changes to objects. There was a lot of collaboration and close communication for things that were like uh, this can work particularly well with us, let's try this. We have talked a lot and in depth about these details. What are your plans for role queuing in competitive games? Brian Feeney, we certainly know the problem. It's something we contemplate at launch. Unfortunately, these things always happen in game development that as you get closer and closer to launch, you have to make important decisions as to what you can offer and what you cannot offer, and you wonder if you delay the launch of the game. I play for a particular characteristic. And this is one of those things. We knew we wanted something like PC's position preselection system. Not necessarily the same implementation as League of Legends for PC, but we know there is a lot of value in letting players have control over the positions they have to play. 
It is one of the problems that we have to prioritize in order to have the game out of beta in a stable state. That said, it is something we are looking to improve on what we have. We will have more details on this as we get closer to the end of the beta. It will not be exactly like what is on PC, but we know the problem, and it is something we want to fix. Will you promote a competitive or even professional scene for Wild Rift? Brian Feeney, we certainly want to support the competitive scene, we know there is interest in it, and in fact, I think we've already seen a lot more interest in Wild Rift than we expected, which is phenomenal. This has made us rethink some things and rethink our approach. We know there is a competitive market and we want to support you. The problem with this is that we think we have to be careful about jumping too fast and saying hey, this is an expert in setting up a whole big infrastructure, when there might not be enough demand or support. Are you open to somehow introducing Wild Rift into League of Legends World Championships? Brian Feeney, we are, of course, open to all kinds of options in that regard. It is not something that we have talked too much about on our part. Our attention has focused on the fact that we know that to have any type of competitive scene, although the reception has been very positive, and we have the mastery of jubability that the game can bring there, at the same time we know that we lack basic characteristics they would need for any competitive scene right now. Our attention right now is on building the infrastructure in the video game part. Some examples are spectator mode and replays. You need it for any competitive scene. These are things we are working on but are not ready yet. That's the kind of thing we're prioritizing on the game side before unlocking whatever strategy we take going forward. Going back to the game in general, what do you think Wild Rift is missing right now? Brian Feeney, obviously we know that gamers want a lot more content, in general. We released the game with a fairly small roster of characters, and we want to expand it. There are infrastructure issues that we are working on as well, such as increasing the supported devices, improving some performance options. An example we are working on now is making all mid-range devices optimized to run the game. The consoles are another point, we are working on it. I don't have a date or a window, but it's something we are really passionate about, and that we want to launch as soon as possible, because there's a big gap there for us too. We know there is a lot of value in adding Wild Rift to consoles. As for other things, I have already mentioned repetitions, you have talked about the problem of queues and roles. These are things that we know, that we work on and that we hope to carry forward. You know, we want to improve the player experience. So basically that's it for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to click the notification bell icon for more update.